Hi everybody, this is Odd Samurai, and today I'm gonna be reacting to the look back trailer. What? Yeah, we already got a trailer, we got it yesterday. And yeah, I really wanted to watch it, but I I, I will I also like wanted to wait. Uh, so I could record my reaction today and see it with you guys. <clears throat> but I've already seen uh, quite a few screenshots of it. But, I mean, just just the stills alone look amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, of course, I've already read the, this one shot. I all... So, the, the one shots from Fujimoto that I've read are Look Back, Goodbye Eddie, uh, which is also amazing. I kind of prefer Goodbye Eddie over Look Back, but that's simply because that one doesn't, <laughs> doesn't destroy me emotionally at, at the end. So it's less hard to go and reread re it. Then uh, just listen to the song, which I like it, I think it's fine, but I just hate the way that some people will use it to basically tell people that analyze Chainsaw Man to be like, no, see, Fujimoto just, you know, hates that when people analyze shit. That's not what just listen to the song is, okay? So, yeah, that's annoying. And then I've also read uh, Yoga no Nayuta, or I think the English title is Nayuta of the Prophecy, which if you really like Chainsaw Man and you're up to date with uh, part two, you should really give it a, give it a read. I think uh, it's gonna be important for Denji and Naita's relationship. I, I feel like uh, Fujimoto's gonna interact some, some of it in Chainsaw Man. It's pretty good. And that's all the one shots I've read. Uh, but pretty much <laughs> from videos that I've watched, I know uh, about what the rest of the Fujimoto one shots are about. Uh, so I will get to them all at some point, but I, I think the one that I, I want to read the most is probably the one where uh, like a vampire and a contract killer fall in love. That seems quite interesting. And there's also the one where like the boy, there's a boy who wants to uh, confess to a girl. But every time that he's about to confess, he gets interrupted by it quite the nonsensical stuff or like world ending stuff. <laughs> that one sounds funny. But yeah, uh, Fujimoto, great with one shots. Some not so much I've heard, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I I was actually really hoping that we would get uh, Goodbye Eddie as an animated movie before Look Back, but like, Look Back is still gonna be a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I, <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't know, it's not recency bias, okay? I feel like the moment that I, I watch the movie, I'm gonna be like, yeah favorite anime movie <laughs> already uh, in terms of like a standalone things and not just you know like I don't know like a one piece movie or something that I count them separate from stuff that they already have uh, so yeah I was look back uh, if I can I'll try and watch it in cinema uh, but if I can't then I'll just watch it with you guys in a re reaction video and I will also be okay with that. I think both have their merits. Like here, just watching uh, in my room, I do feel more comfortable just uh, just feeling openly vulnerable and crying. Whereas if I watch it in, in the cinema, uh, or like just watching it in that big screen, like, <laughs> yo. Like just watching anything like Fujimoto in, uh, you know, in a theater would be, would just feel right, but I, I wouldn't feel <laughs> comfortable enough to truly get the emotions that I'm supposed to get. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how, how those things turn out. 
<laughs> but reaction right <laughs> let's just let's just watch this it's actually quite long it's uh one minute and 38 seconds so yeah in five four three two one go God, I, I love this. I love the way they brought Fujimoto's art style to life. Oh man. Oh, the music. Oh man, I'm just. Oh, I'm already getting chills. Oh, that. Oh, that panel. Look back. God, I'm... It's... Yeah, it looks so charming. <clears throat> okay. Man! <laughs> it was basically just... One minute and a half... Of just showing what this story is about and just the essence of what the it, it tries of what it transmits to the reader and now the viewers <clears throat> and it, it had me legit <laughs> almost getting a lump in my throat just remembering everything of what happens in it and how I felt reading it <clears throat> and this is just uh you know I, I've only read this one once when it came out and that's it so I don't remember all this, the little details for it and I don't think I'm going to reread it just so you know uh the movie kind of feels more like a like, I, I can at least be surprised by some things, but yeah, man, oh, that shot of um, Fujino crying, oh, that's gonna, that's gonna have me crying so much. <clears throat> and like, that also that little... This part of the little comic strip going inside uh, Kyomoto's door. Ah, oh, bro, I'm in love. I'm in love. Also, just also those little transitions of Kyomoto drawing and then going to Fujino. Ah, oh, man. The, this director, oh man, I forget who, uh, <clears throat> I think it's the, the name of the director is Oshiyama, I think? Man, they really understood what makes this story and this character so special. And I think the director is also the character designer, so, yep. Man, just look at this. They completely understand What's the charming Fujimoto's character designs? <clears throat> Especially in a story that has uh, such a melancholic, but also that <laughs> you, you go through so many emotions and look back, but melancholic, hope, 
this pair I just love for the medium of manga I love also the way that they do the backgrounds I, I don't know <laughs> what to describe it how to describe it but I just I love the vibrance of them and just also the way that the characters move as well I I I really like how they went with this approach like it's a good mix of like you know a bit like <clears throat> uh like cartoony I don't I don't know if I want to say cartoony but you know it's a mix between regular anime movement but also kind of sometimes with the cinematic approach with that the, the, the that they went with Chainsaw Man season one I love also the uh, first first person POV shots like this it really um, it really gets across how personal this story is between these two characters oh man Fujino letting go of Kyomoto's hands ah uh, don't do this to me bro <laughs> I'm not gonna survive experiencing this again that's for sure <clears throat> oh and yeah something I didn't mention but I'm pretty sure that both of the voice actors for Fujino and Kyomoto are have never actually voice acted for anime before so I, I really like the way that they sound less like anime characters and more just like regular people uh, give me, give me vibes kind of like, um, some Ghibli films and some Mamoru Hosoda films as well, the way that the characters sound, that they feel so, uh, you know, like ordinary people. And I, I think this really makes everything feel more down chores uh but yeah uh <laughs> i'm so 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 looking forward to this fujimoto works in the at the movies bro and probably nothing better than than that to experience it <clears throat> especially with someone that seems to have as much passion and love as the stuff for this so yeah if you enjoyed my reaction to this trailer, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.